the Academic Staff Union of Polytechnics has embarked on an indefinite strike over the non-implementation of its demands by the federal government. The polytechnic workers have vowed to keep the institutions closed until the federal government meets their demands. Among other things, the lecturers are asking for the revamping of the poor state of polytechnics and monotechnics in Nigeria. They are protesting the non-implementation of the 2014 needs report and non-release of revitalization funds to the sector. You may recall that following our union's resolve to embark on a strike action effective 6th April 2021 at the 99th meeting of our union's NEC meeting held in Katsina a fortnight ago, we updated the Nigerian public through various media outlets of the unfortunate neglect of the technological education subsector by governments in Nigeria. And in doing this, we are very clear in pointing out one, the solid state of public polytechnics, monotechnics, as well as the entire subsector. Two, the failure of the government to respond appropriately to the series of letters written on the subject. Three, the expiration of the union's ultimatum issued since March 2020, as well as the development of new issues of concern in the sector due to the same negligence of the government. Today, therefore, marks day one of the execution of the resolutions of our union's National Executive Council. As already as we speak, academic activities have been shut down in all programs run in polytechnics and like institutions across the nation, effective 00.00 hours of 6th April 2021, that is today. For the avoidance of doubt, the following demands were communicated to the government through the ministries of education, as well as labor and employment, and indeed other ministries where our members offer services through different monotechnics. So for more on this, President of the Academic Staff Union of Polytechnic, Anderson Nezebe, uh, joins us now. Uh, good evening and welcome to Newsnight. So help us understand, uh, a number of things are happening around the country with uh, ASUP, a session of uh, a staff union of polytechnics, ASU and other unions fighting against government and all that. What exactly are the core ingredients of your uh, grievances, so to say, against whatever the government is doing? If you can just name two or three so that we can try and chew on that immediately. Yes, thank you very much um, for bringing me on board. I, I think that at the heart of uh, the discontent in the sector uh, is the level of uh, neglect or negligence over the years by successive uh, governments and the uh, poor priority placed on technological education as uh, shown by uh, the way our polytechnics are run. Uh, uh, honestly, uh, if you look at the state uh, of the nation uh, with respect to the southern trend of uh, different forms of economic indices, we, 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 you know, we know what is happening with respect to the unemployment uh, rate in the country, uh, inflation rate and all. Uh, one would have expected that this country would reorder its priorities uh, in the direction of uh, developing skilled manpower uh, that will produce employers of labor. Uh, you know, rather than uh, you know, job you know, job seekers, and uh, that is actually the niche, uh, you know, for our polytechnics. Unfortunately, uh, this has not been the case. So, what do you think this strike now will achieve? And since you started the strike midnight six today, has there been any uh, reach out from the federal government to you, or even the state governments? Yes, the, the first uh, object of the strike is to draw the attention of the proprietors um, and the Nigerian public by the proprietors, we mean the federal government mm -hmm. and then the different state governments to the plight you know, of the system. And um, uh, barely six hours into the strike, uh, we received invitation from the Federal Ministry of Education. Uh, this morning, we held a meeting with the, you know, with the Honorable Minister of Education alongside other top officials of the ministry. What did they tell you? Well, they uh, demonstrated the willingness to attend to the issues as presented to them. And so, 
Uh, we are looking forward to formal engagements where we'll also have other agencies of government who have, you know, you know one or two other things, uh, you know, to do with the demands. Yeah, present. but what are, what are the immediate ones, like Kay asked earlier, what are the immediate ones that government can, you know, uh, uh, tackle as quickly as possible so that you go back to the classroom? I can just add to that. Yes. One or two things that you say, you know that if they deal with one, two, three, you go back to work immediately. Yes, we have, we have uh, you know, at the top of the list there the issue of the non-implementation of the needs assessment survey uh, in the sector. Uh, that's, you know, that's an activity of the government that was carried out since 2014. The report has not been implemented. It's meant to reverse uh, the rots, you know, in infrastructure in the sector. Uh, we have uh, the issue of the non-release of the minimum wage areas in the sector. Uh, our people are owed. Uh, 10 months of areas of the minimum wage, two years into the implementation of same, And in about uh, 32 states of the Federation, we have our members who are not benefiting uh, from this. In uh, the 26 federal polytechnics we have, as we speak, there are no governing councils. And the implication is that uh, the, there are no promotion activities going on, uh, you know, no appraisals, staff since appraisals when? since May 2020. Uh, principal officers cannot be appointed, and I think that this is at the height, you know, of negligence. And this is across all polytechnics. Uh, all the federal polytechnics. And there are no governing councils. Would it be fair to year. say the uh, COVID-19 in all of 2020 may have affected the issue of the governing councils not being in place? I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so because um, uh, a tenured system, you know, only deals with affliction of time. Uh, you know, a tenured system does not take anyone, you know, unawares. You know the, the the tenures of the uh, of the governing councils is uh, three years, okay. and so whether there is COVID nineteen or not, uh, everybody should have prepared. All right. After three years, there will be so great. salaries have been paid to date. In federal polytechnics, yes, salaries are coming, but in state polytechnics, we can't mm -hmm. say same. For instance, in Abia State Polytechnic, about our people are owed for twenty four months, two full wow. years, two years of exactly salary, exactly two paid. years of salaries unpaid, and then you expect these persons to produce, uh, you know, products, uh, you know, of the same standard, you know, with others, you know, where salaries are paid. But are the possible. state governors even telling you why they're not able to pay? Have you engaged with them at that level? And I'd need you to also address this issue of 19 uh, billion naira tax uh, liabilities that you talk about, one of your grievances. Yes, uh, on the issue of, uh, you know, the ability or inability as it were of the state governments to pay, we sincerely believe that this is a matter of priority, you know, you know the right priorities, uh, you know, being placed. Because mm -hmm. in the same states, you see them appointing uh, political office holders all over the place, personal aides to politicians all over the place, you know, in scores. And then they are being paid, uh, you know, and properly serviced, you know, to the detriment of the workers. On the issue of the... The 19 the, billion, the 19 billion uh, the purported uh, tax liabilities, mm -hmm. which uh, uh, towards the end of last year, about uh, 19 federal polytechnics received letters uh, conveying tax liabilities of uh, varying sums uh, from 2008 to 2018, which uh, the Accountant General of the Federation claims to have paid back portions to different states, you know, state boards of internal revenue. And uh, same letters claim that uh, verification exercises took place. Uh, we are aware that none took place. And we are also aware that nobody gave any such consent for mm. persons in the office of the Accountant General to make payments on behalf of oh. the workers. Okay, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much. Uh, Anderson Ezebe is President, Academic Staff Union of Polytechnics in Nigeria. Okay, thank you very much. much.